Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam. I post all things lifestyle, faith, an occasional vlog every now and then. This video is essentially a video diary of my life. And today we're doing something we have not done on this channel in a minute, which is a little makeup tutorial. I'm always hesitant to say tutorial because I don't really know what I'm talking about. Pretty much everything I use for the most part is drugstore. So this is just gonna be my affordable drugstore, kind of summer glowy, dewy look. I don't, see, I don't know what I'm talking about, but this video was requested by a couple of you over on my main channel to just do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the products that I use. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Luna is here, I will show you. Luni, say hi to the girls. Say hi to the girls. Okay. And so we're just gonna have a girls chat for the next couple minutes while I take you through step by step this makeup routine. So it's really easy, it's affordable, and it's pretty quick because I don't like to spend too much time on my makeup. Before we get into that, all my links are down below, my Instagram, my TikTok, I've been trying to really be active over there lately and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So all of that is down below. I'll also leave the link to my main channel. I'm sure most of you know me from there, but just in case you don't, I do have an ASMR channel. So I will have that all linked down below as well. So without further ado, let's get started with the makeup routine and you're gonna see me without makeup in three, two, one. All right guys, so we're starting with sunscreen. This is my favorite right now. It's the e.l.f. Glow Sunscreen, Woe Glow Sunscreen. Um, I mostly use it in the summer. I don't always use it in the winter, but I'm trying to get in the habit of putting sunscreen on every day. We turn 28 guys, we gotta protect the skin, okay? So I like this sunscreen a lot because it does give you a nice glow, just like it says it will, under your makeup. I try to make my skin look dewy but not oily in the summertime. So this does a pretty good job of that. And then I also don't have to worry about putting sunscreen on you know, afterwards or if I'm going to the beach or whatever and I still wanna put a little bit of makeup on, this allows me to do that. So and you probably can't tell yet, but it does give you a little bit of a shimmer. I will say the Super Goop one that's a little more expensive is better but this one was like $10 and, or maybe less, and it does the same thing. So I go with that because on top of that, I use this guy. Now this is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion True Match, and I have it in the shade light, I'm pretty sure. This thing will make you look like the Tin Man in a good way. <laughs> this is what I think truly does give me a nice glow, especially when the light hits my face during the day it gives you a nice shimmer a little bit goes a long way so one of these bottles will last me months and it's drugstore it's cheap as you'll see throughout this video most of my stuff is drugstore i just don't really like spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on makeup when drugstore makeup still works just the same i don't know everybody has their thing that they like to spend money on, um, and mine just isn't makeup, but that's, that's okay. So you'll see here, even though it's light, it's the shade light, it still gives me good coverage, and it gives me a little bit of a bronzy glow. My face is clearly a lot more pale than the rest of my body right now. That's usually how it goes in the summertime. So we're gonna uh, try to catch my skin on my face up to the rest of my body in the next couple of steps. I bring it down to my neck as well. And it's also kind of moisturizing, which is nice. Okay, so next up we're going to do foundation. So honestly, in the summertime, I usually use BB cream, which is like a tinted moisturizer. My favorite one is by Maybelline, and I use the one with salicylic acid in it, which is like an acne treatment sort of thing, because sometimes my skin hates me, even at 28. And I use the medium shade during the summer, just again, to match the rest of me. However, my makeup is going to be on today for like 13 hours. It's a Saturday, I'm gonna be out and about. And with this, my skin definitely gets more oily towards the end of the day, and I don't wanna look too, too oily. So I'm gonna go ahead and use actual foundation. This is by L'Oreal True Match as well. And it is the Hyaluronic 
acid tinted serum. It's kind of covered by the CVS sticker, but um, this also has acne fighting technology in here. And I have the shade 23 Light Pale, which it says light pale, but it's not that pale. This is my summer shade. I use this all year round, but I will use the shade uh, below this usually 10 months out of the year. But right now we are matching the tan, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this. TikTok shop got me a couple months ago and I bought the Tarte, what do they call it? The Tarte Buffer Brush, it's the Airbrush Finish Bamboo Foundation Brush. It was a little pricey. Like I said, I don't like to spend a lot of, I think it was like 30 bucks. I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup products, but I have to admit, I understand what the hype is about this brush. I think this is the one that like Alex Earl endorsed or something because everyone calls it the Alex Earl makeup brush, even though it's a Tarte makeup brush. But I think she's the one that like made it famous in her early get ready with me videos on TikTok. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let me try it. <laughs> it's actually really good. It blends everything so quickly and it's totally like, it's just, it's firm. It doesn't absorb a lot of product. It's just, I don't know, it's really good. So I will tell you when something is worth the money and I do think this brush is worth the money. So once that is all blended, we are gonna go in with concealer. And so for concealer, I do use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I usually only use this in the summertime, but fun fact, this was my foundation, foundation and concealer of choice, the Maybelline Fit Me when I was in high school, like all four years of high school, this was my thing. So this is the shade 15 light again, but it's my summer shade, which is really funny that it's considered light, <laughs> but it's got a little more of a like golden hue to it. So it's not as ghostly pale and I am running out of it. So this stuff is not really, this is just like the base and the foundation of things. This is not really where I get my glow. I'm just putting it on the high points of my face and then anywhere where I have something to cover. You guys know how concealer works. <laughs> and this is my favorite concealer brush. I got it as a gift. I don't even, I couldn't even tell you where it's from. I want to say it was like a unicorn collection. I don't know. I've had it for a couple years now and I have tried other concealer brushes because this one is honestly getting quite old and just nothing works as good. It blends perfectly. It's very similar to the Tarte foundation brush I just used. Doesn't absorb any product really, and it just blends everything perfectly and quickly. I do like doing my makeup, but I have absolutely no interest in sitting here for like hours perfecting my makeup. I know some people do that and it's therapeutic to them. I have a friend like that, go off, do you. I totally get it, but that is just not my thing. I like to get my makeup done, even if I'm doing a full face, in like 20 minutes would be ideal, like 20 minutes tops. So that's usually what I go for. And look at that, easy, blended. So powder is where we start to get a little snazzy. This is typically what I use. It's the Maybelline Fit Me, you're sensing a theme here. Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This is the shade 20 Light Medium. And I said this on my other channel when I did a Get Ready With Me a couple days ago. This is a shade up from the one I use during the fall and the winter and the spring, but this one doesn't totally fit me, okay? So don't be surprised when it looks a little yellow and it looks like it doesn't match, but we'll, we'll fix it. But the one below this is just too light for me at this point. Just doesn't match, so just go with me here. So that's the one I use, it's matte. Um, not too matte, but it definitely is matte. It's not dewy at all. So that's what I use to set everything. And then this is from the cream shop. It is the Rose Quartz Illuminating Powder. Now I cannot use this to set my face because I will get really oily and I just don't like the way it looks over my whole face because it definitely has shimmer in it. And it's like, this is like Tin Man in a bad way but you'll see where I use this. And I don't use this every day, but because it's Saturday and I'm going out and whatever, I'll use it. <laughs> so we're mostly gonna go in with the Maybelline powder here. I have my little beauty sponge here. I'm gonna go in the cap. This is a new uh, powder, so it's very full right now. 
so I'm just gonna go in with what's on the cap. I always start under my eyes. I definitely am noticing some creasing there these days, so I just wanna make sure that that is all set and the makeup doesn't get too, too into the creases under there. And I always go on my eyelids as well, just because I personally get uh, pretty oily eyelids. So that's not cute because then my <laughs> eyeliner runs throughout the day. So then I'm gonna put this really everywhere else. Nothing too exciting. This is just how I set everything. And then I don't put too much on my nose. I kind of do whatever is left over because my nose tends to get dry. I have very combination skin where my forehead gets very oily and my cheeks kind of like my forehead and my temples like right here get very oily but my nose and my chin typically get very dry it's annoying but i feel like after 28 years i'm finally getting the hang of how to deal with that so i put this powder everywhere just so it's even because again i said it is not the perfect shade and because it's not the perfect shade i gotta make sure i put it everywhere so that looks pretty decent. I look really pale on camera, but I promise you in person, I do have a little bit of color. So then we're gonna go in with this powder and it is really, like if you saw it in person, it's very shiny. It definitely has that shimmer built into it and it was reasonably priced. I got it at CVS. So I'm gonna take a very little bit on the tip and I'm gonna put it almost where I would put highlighter kind of. So I'm gonna put it in this area and this is going to give me a little bit of a glow you see that so i know it's a lot of powder and i typically don't like to put too much powder on that's why i don't do this every day but i almost kind of use it like a little bit of a highlighter because i don't actually use highlighter you'll see later i don't really use highlighter because everything else that i have now i feel like everyone and their mother is making like some sort of glowy makeup product so you don't really need the highlighter anymore Okay, so I put a little bit of that. There were a couple days where I used this as my setting powder everywhere and then I looked in the mirror like halfway through the day and it was like jump scare, not great. So that's what I use it for. Really quickly, I'm going to prep my eyebrows with the Urban Decay, I don't even know what this is called, Urban Decay Brow something. Um, I am gonna fill them in with an actual pencil in a second, but this is just how I prep them. Sometimes if I'm going to the beach and I don't want to actually put on a lot of makeup, I'll just do this and it just does make them a little bit darker and fuller. You guys know my eyebrows are like my, I'm not going to say insecurity because it's not an insecurity anymore, but it's definitely the part of my makeup that I feel like is essential because my eyebrows normally are just very light and I don't always like that, but I also, I changed my mind about getting them microbladed. I don't think I want to do that anymore. Um, but if I can take two seconds and put this stuff on, that works. Okay, so we'll come back to the brows in a second. Now, I know what I do with my makeup is a little untraditional in the sense that I put powder on first and then I put blush and uh, contour on, but that's always just the way I've done it. So I have to be strategic with the way I put on my contour and my blush. So this is my Milk contour makeup stick. It is my favorite. I've been using it for probably four years now. And I just put a little bit on my brush. I got this brush on Amazon. It's cheap. It's like a duo brush. And I put a little bit on my brush. And now because I put powder on already, I want to make sure to not do any circular motions because then you're going to disrupt that powder and it's just, you're going to break it up and it's just not going to look good. So that's why it's important for me to just like, I think it's called stippling, where you just kind of like press it into your skin until it's nice and even. And I go right along my cheekbone. I tend to, not I tend to, I do have pretty high cheekbones, I guess, on the higher side. And so I kind of play into that. So wherever you feel comfortable, putting your contour. Some people put it like right on it. Some people put it a little bit above or a little bit below. I pretty much just put it right on there. And then a little bit on my forehead and my temples. And I'll do my jawline in a second. So now we're gonna do the other side just to add a little bit of dimension into my face. So you're going from like egg to sculpted egg, I don't know. And then from there, 
That's when I just take whatever's left on my brush and I go over my jawline. Just for a little bit of definition. I don't think it really does much to my jawline if I'm being honest, but whatever. For blush, I use two things. This is what I pretty much use every day because it's a little more subtle. It's the Benefit Hula Dessert Retreat. It's bronzer and blush together. I typically don't use the bronzer unless I'm like traveling and I only want to bring this. But the blush is really good. It's a perfect shade. So I put that right on the apple of my cheek. Right there. Just a little bit and you see it's like natural. So for every day, this is perfect. It really doesn't have any shimmer in it. So we're gonna go in with another product in a second. I take whatever is left over and I put it on my nose. I tend to do that a lot in the summer because it gives you that like sun kissed kind of look. And then I put a little bit on my forehead, nothing crazy, and a little bit on my chin. My mom was the one that taught me to put blush on my nose and my chin. Um, but you put like what's left over. So you're not putting a lot and it just, I don't know, it just brings life to your face, makes you look all rosy and supple. But to add to the glow, I use this and I've been through a lot of blushes in my life so far and this is hands down one of my favorite, especially in the summer. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Beauty Wand Blush and this is in the shade Rosé You Slay. <laughs> and this was like $4 and it's so good. It has shimmer built into it. So I'm gonna take like one pump because the first time I used this, I used like three pumps and it was excessive. I'm gonna use like one pump right there. Can you see it? It's there. And I'm gonna work that in with my blush brush and it's gonna give me a little more blush, um, but it's also gonna give me shimmer. I know my camera kind of stinks. Guys, actually, while we're on the subject, I think it's coming time for me to get a new YouTube camera, which kind of stinks. This one is just not working like it used to. The screen in the back, not the screen itself is broken, but it's just not sitting right on the camera and it's just, I don't know. I think it's coming time for us to get a new camera. So I know you can't see it too, too well, but the shimmer is shimmering and a little bit on my nose. Now for my brows, we're gonna tie this all together before we do the eyes. So this is the Winky Lux Unibrow Pencil Crayon, and it's supposed to be like a universal, universal shade, which I still don't really understand. Like it's supposed to be like this could work for anyone. I don't really know how that works, but it does work for me, and that's all that really matters, I guess. So I am just going to run this through my brows. Fun fact, some of you may know this, some of you probably don't, but I have never gotten my eyebrows done, ever. I just kind of tweeze them myself, and the reason for that is because my eyebrows are just not thick enough to have to, in my opinion. I have thought about going and getting them mapped, and then they do kind of do them for you when you go get them mapped, just to see like, to make sure that they're symmetric because I know they're definitely not completely symmetric. They're like distant cousins instead of sisters. Um, but I don't know, it, they, they work for me. They, my brows really don't bother me, but I've been curious to get them mapped, but I have no plans to really do that anytime soon. My eyeshadow palette of choice lately, we're keeping things affordable, we're keeping things drugstore is e.l.f. You really can't go wrong with e.l.f. You just can't. This is, what is this called? Perfect 10 eyeshadow. Okay, so it doesn't really have a name, but it's just like a bunch of neutrals and bronze colors. Perfect for me, because that's really all I wear typically. And the eyeshadow, it stays all day and the pigment is great. I don't know, I just, I'm a drugstore girly through and through. This light brown color here, I'm just gonna put a little bit on my lid. I am so careless when it comes to eyeshadow. I do it so quick. I don't, I don't know. I just don't try to make it perfect, but it always kind of works out. So I don't know. <laughs> so I'm gonna just put that everywhere. And then I'm gonna take this lighter shade all the way in the front here, and I'm gonna put that above. So kind of below my brow, like on my brow bone, I should say. And it doesn't really do much. I think it just ties it all together. And I also have some pretty dark veins up here. I've had them my whole life. 
and so that tends to cover the veins a little bit because this is pretty much like my skin tone that I'm putting on and it just looks better. So you can see I really didn't do much of anything but uh, it does enough to just tie it together. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing a full glam or anything today. So for eyeliner, I go back and forth between a Revlon brown pencil and the e.l.f. liquid black eyeliner. And there's really no rhyme or reason. It's really just whatever I'm feeling that day. And I think I'm gonna go liquid today. Don't ask me why, I'm just, that's what I'm feeling. I'm gonna do that off camera though because I really need to concentrate. I don't do a wing or anything at all. I just don't think it's ever really looked good on me. But I'm just gonna do one thin line on each eye. So please hold, I'll be right back. Okay, I'll show you a little close up. I really did nothing special, just a little black line. Because my eyes are kind of on the smaller side, like a little more narrow, I try to do as thin of a line as possible. Now, before we do mascara, setting spray. Because I have learned the hard way that when I do my mascara and then I close my eyes to spray, I get mascara all under here. So I have learned we spray first and then we do mascara. This is from Iconic London. I almost didn't talk to you about the best part of this whole makeup routine. This is the Prep Set Glow. So you can put it on before your makeup during and after, I just put it on after. But if you can see, whoa, let's try that again. As you can see, once you shake it, do you see the shimmer in there? That's so cool to me still every time I use it. I think it's so cool. So this totally adds to the glow that we want, especially for the summertime and it smells so good. Don't be stingy with it. Okay, now mascara, I'm gonna curl. This is just a $3, I think, wet and wild curler I got from Target, I think. Now, I am a firm believer in using two mascaras. I always use two mascaras, I just layer them. This is the first one, it's the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Volumizing Mascara. I think I got this in like a FabFitFun box, but Thrive Cosmetics is really good brand, so. This has a really big wand, so it can get messy. So I try to lean my head back as far as possible and please ignore all of my mascara faces that you're gonna see in the next two minutes. Oh, that's coat number one. Now this will always be, forever and ever, amen, my holy grail mascara. It is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Mascara in Blackest Black is the shade. And it is so good, even on its own, even on its own, it's so good. So this is what brings us home. And I try to do it pretty quick because once the first layer kind of dries, it's hard to put this on over it. So that's why I try to do it pretty quick. I think in one of my get ready with me is on my main channel, somebody was like, why and how do you do your mascara so fast? It's because I'm rushing <laughs> on purpose. But if you do it right, it looks so good. I am going to go take the foundation off of my lips. I'm sure it's been killing some of you this whole video. I'm gonna go take it off my lips so we can do lipstick, which is my favorite part. Now this lip combo I have talked about before, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but it is just, it's so good. And I think everybody finds a lip combo that like looks good on them and it may not look as good on somebody else. It's just your skin tone, it's your style, it's, you know, it's different for everybody. And I think I found one of mine. So this is a Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade, I always forget, Reach High number 100. And I almost use it as a lip liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and line the top and the bottom. And then I just color in like the mill just like that. I don't go over everything and I just do one of those. And then this is like a $4 lip oil on Amazon. It's like a dupe for the Dior oil and it doesn't have a shade on it. It's just the one that looks kind of red and it's really nice alone, but on top of the ink crayon, it just looks really good. And I just put that on top. Ooh, I got a lot there and on top here bring it together and it just looks so good and when I tell you 
it may not stay as like shimmery or as glossy all day but the color stays and it's that's the ink crayon that's why i like putting the two together because even after you eat even after you drink the color is still there so i really like it that is it guys so let's bring the hair down it is very very humid where i live today and i am fully prepared for these curls to not stay well today they also just came out not great i don't know if you can tell but in person they are not slaying at all but that's okay we're just gonna we're just gonna deal with it so anyway guys that is it for this video that is my affordable glowy little summer makeup routine i can't believe i waited the whole summer to upload it in august but what are you gonna do so anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed i hope i answered any questions that you had because i did get some requests for this exact video to do a step-by-step -step tutorial on everything i use so i hope that it helped you thank you so much for watching and i will see you right back here with my next video bye guys